Once again, to introduce myself, Mikael Olsson, and I'm head of flight test uh, department back home in Linköping. And uh, I just uh, joined you on this event today. Unfortunately, I have to leave back to Sweden uh, already today because, uh, in parallel to this, we have an intensive program of flight testing back home. Uh, but today here we're standing in front of uh, the Dash 10 aircraft that we have heard about. It's actually the third test aircraft uh, in the Gripen E family. Uh, it took its maiden flight just before summer last year and now it's fully up and running in the test program. Uh, back home we have uh, actually we have the program right now it's uh, contains uh, or it includes six Gripen E aircraft so we are fully up and running with uh, envelope expansion uh, like weapon and tactical system testing as well. Uh, in parallel to each other. We also look forward to actually expand the flight testing sites in the world. We will, together with our customers, Sweden and Brazil, set up flight test facilities, uh, both uh, in Sweden, but then also expand it to Brazil later this year. That uh, will be really interesting to actually run flight testing on two continents in parallel. So that's that will be really interesting. But uh, I promise to say something about the Gripen from a pilot perspective. What is the Gripen? And what is the Gripen from uh, my perspective as a pilot? My background is uh, I joined the Air Forces in the 90s and uh, started flying the, the Viggen. And then uh, in 2002 I continued to fly the Gripen. So I have quite a good experience of flying the Gripen. A, B versions, C, D versions, and now the E versions. But I would like to emphasize on what Magnus all earlier told you. The Gripen E has taken and secured uh, the legacy from the Draken, the Viggen, and the Gripen early versions. That means it's a small aircraft, easy to handle, both on ground, for the maintenance crew, for the technicians, it's designed for the conscripts to be uh, yeah, on a dispersed basis out in the woods, quick on ground, quickly up in the air again. That's built in the aircraft and we have taken that to the Gripen E as well. From a pilot perspective, that means it's extremely easy to fly as well. I would say everyone here could fly the Gripen with just a quick uh, training. And then I mean a quick training, because it's really, really easy to fly. Uh, the system helps the pilot assist. You have a really huge assistance from the system itself um, to fly the aircraft. What's uh, the really handwork and the state of the art uh, yeah, working with it for the pilot? It's actually to handle the system itself. The sensor system, the weapon system, and how you actually take the decisions. And one difference as well, or one uh, major change from uh, the pilot perspective, is actually what we have uh, enhanced on the Gripen E confer uh, uh, in uh, comparison to the Gripen CD. We have added on the capability you see from the outside. We have added on the capability to carry more weapons. We have more pylons on this one. We can carry much more uh, payload, increasing the maximum weight and payload in total. That means also we have uh, expanded the fuel capability within the aircraft. So we actually have, like now you see on the center tank, or central line there, the center pylon, it's actually a fuel tank. But compared to the CD, we have a fuel tank inside the aircraft now. Meaning that we have a huge or a much better range, enhancing it approximately 25-30% in terms of range due to the built-in fuel. So we carry more fuel, more weapons, and then we also have to balance this by having a new engine in there with more thrust, giving a good balance and uh, really overhaul, uh, overall uh, balanced capability. Um, but then I would say, yeah, before that, uh, here also on this aircraft, you see what the Gripen can do. 
As you heard earlier, it's a true multi-role aircraft, and this now shows that you have one of the air-to-air uh, yeah, air configuration, so to say. With the state-of-the-art missiles, the Meteor, for example, and I would say you cannot find a better missile in the world today. And it's operational on the Gripen, and it has been that for approximately two to three years. And what you also see is uh, the, the newest pod, uh, the e EW pod is called uh, EA, EAGP, that's correct. And um, that's also a really a state-of-the-art uh, EW pod. Uh, we have done flight trials with that, but that's not in operation use yet. Um, but then also, just the main, main difference from a pilot perspective is what you don't see on the outside. It's actually what it's built in. It's the sensors, it's the radar, it's the uh, EW system, it's the infrared search and track system that you see in the nose, and uh, it's uh, also the missile warning, approach warning system. All these sensors are fused together, and uh, they will provide the pilot with a common picture of what's happening around your platform and your system. Meaning that uh, you can give the pilot a super, superb uh, situational awareness. And that means having super, uh, like a su uh, really good su uh, situational awareness, meaning that you can actually take the decision quicker, giving the, uh, an advantage over the opponent, and meaning that you can actually win the fight and survive. You can deny the opponent the uh, access of the area and you can actually continue your mission on your own. Is it time? Yes. Okay. I think you're in more interested of actually going uh, yeah, closer to the aircraft. So uh, I will hand over again to Magnus. What's next?